How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today we have to look at NAT. So it just came out recently that their CEO bought more of their shares and I want to go over that. I wasn't planning on making an NAT video today. I actually had one for Tesla which I'm going to release later I believe around maybe 7 p.m. tonight. But NAT just got news that the CEO is buying shares we also got some information on new US sanctions. And as you can see here, the stocks bumped up a little bit today. And I'll talk about what I did and maybe what you should do too. So listen until the end so that you can see that. But before we get into it, if you don't mind hitting the like button, I think this is good information and I tried to get it out as quickly as possible. I had the day off today, so I just got news that this happened and I am making the video a couple minutes later after I did some research. So. As we can see here, price was down to about $4.04 .04 today, jumped up about to $4.11. I bought some. I actually added to my position just now. I bought a small amount just because I only want to invest so much this week, but I did buy some NAT again. And I think we're going to see it bump up in the short term. I'm not sure whether I will sell mine. I kind of bought it just willy nilly at the last second just because I saw the news that came out it was a pretty small amount like i said but let's go to their company website so nordic american tankers as you can see here they always update this with the newest information so about a week ago a week and a half ago we got news that the nat board member was buying shares so this was the ceo's son he bought about two hundred thousand dollars worth but as we see here today we have a email or a a message that was sent out that hi her her John Hansen I can't really pronounce the name bought 50,000 shares at four dollars and eight cents per share so you know a lot of people when they hear this a lot of them have been saying recently oh that's just because the share price is going down they're trying to artificially bump it up which is definitely possible I think that's something that some CEOs do and I would not put it past this CEO since he went on mad money and kind of talked up the stock and he does own a significant portion of the company but I can't imagine someone would do that and spend two hundred thousand dollars if it's just gonna bump up the stock for a few days I mean I get that they have a large portion of their assets in it but let's say it really is gonna go back to two dollars a share now this CEO is pretty in the know for the stock he's been there a very long time he would probably have a pretty good idea whether it's going to go back down or have a pretty strong feeling that's going to go back down. So if he just bought $200,000 worth just to bump it up for a couple weeks and at this rate the stock has been going down pretty significantly so even if it bumped it up for a week or something and then went back down to $3 or $2 he just lost fifty dollars or $100,000 just because he wanted to bump up the stock for a week. That doesn't really make sense to me. I get that Possibly he's trying to bump it up to the point where maybe there's a short squeeze and then the stock price goes up dramatically and then maybe he sells out of some shares when it's at the top, but that just seems a little bit risky to me for no real reason. Now we also got news today, uh, just actually after that message went out, that there was a potential for US sanctions involving more tankers trading on Iran and Venezuela. So they said basically that the US Treasury is considering expanding the list of tankers sanctioned from 80 to 130 vessels. So they're saying that NAT is still complying with sanctions by the US. So he's basically just saying, hey, there is potential for some bad news. A lot of people are wondering, but for us, it's not really relevant. And this might actually boost the price of NAT. He mentions that too. So it'll be interesting to see if they do put more sanctions on tankers. What does that do to the share price? As I've explained in last videos, there is just a small supply of tankers. They're not really adding more. So if there are huge US sanctions on these oil tankers, it could bump up the price of some of these other tankers. Now, these tankers and NAT, STNG, DHT have been down over the last few weeks. And I will link to the past video that I had on NAT versus DHT versus STNG and comparing them all together and kind of looking at their PE ratio, their book value, and whether I think that they're risky or not, and which one I would pick depending on what you're looking for. But it's interesting when news comes out like this because it could be the start of something 
uh, that we've been waiting for, so it could be the start of that short squeeze, but it could just be another drop in the bucket that they're trying to get the share price to go up again, but it just kind of flakes down. Now, if you're considering investing in the stock and you haven't done it yet, this might be a good time to buy in at. And the reason I say that, I'm not a financial advisor or anything, they have the earnings reports coming out soon. So end of August, they are coming out with the earnings report. And this will be at a time when the general market is going down drastically. So I've said this in the past, but earnings are going to be horrible this last quarter for most companies. Now, NATs are going to be pretty good. The DHT earnings and STNG earnings are probably going to be even better, but they're trading at price to earnings ratios that are just insane right now. You're looking at price to earnings of between 1.8 for STNG all the way up to 5 or 6 for NAT. And these are great numbers compared to the general market. The general market trades at a PE around 15 to 25, depending on when you're looking at it. And they're probably going to continue to earn a good amount over the next year or two, just because of the fact that no one's adding any more tankers right now. I mean, there are some being built, but a very small amount. It takes several years to build them. They also just are going to have new rules on it in 2030. So they have new rules coming out on what the tankers have to do and uh, the specs that they have to hit. And a lot of tankers aren't going to invest a lot of money here in 2022 or something in a couple of years or start building in 2020 for 2022 when they could have a tanker that doesn't hit those regulations in 2030. And these tankers usually last 20 years. So if they have to spend a ton of money building these tankers, then halfway through their lifetime, they have to decommission them and sell them for parts. That's going to really hurt their earnings. So the supply is going to continue to stay low, but the demand is going to stay the same and actually probably go up over the next few years because so many things are going to be opening in the economy. You know, I've said this before, but you don't just make money off of tankers holding oil. You also make money off them bringing oil to the refineries and bringing them from place to place. And that's really their bread and butter most of the time. So I think that they're going to be able to kind of do more of that as they transition away from the really high supply of oil or just storing it. But I will say we are going to get numbers on actually tomorrow now on the oil tanker rates for the last week. And it's interesting because last week when the CEO's son bought some of the stock, that was on a Wednesday that he did that and we got news of it. So a lot of us, including me, were thinking, okay, maybe the spot tanker rates have ticked up over the last week. Maybe they're trending back up and he knows something that we don't. But once we hit the report and saw the report, it was actually down again pretty consistently from what it was the week before. And again, the spot tanker rates are just what they can charge from week to week uh, based on how much companies are willing to pay for their one day voyage. So that is something that is really important to look at. Now, again, they have long term contracts where they made a lot of money, but it's just something where you can see the trend going down. So maybe we'll see an uptick in the numbers this week or tomorrow, but I wouldn't be surprised if we continue to see it down tick just because of that being the overriding uh, thing that continues to happen. Now, again, I've talked about this before, but my long term outlook, I think that I'm going to continue to hold through the earnings report and through the ex dividend date. I really want to collect that nice dividend. Again, if the stock price goes down more than the dividend amount, then it's not smart to hold on to the stock. But I don't really know where the stock price is going to go, but I know they're going to have a nice dividend along with DHT and STNG will probably keep the same. They keep the same almost every quarter just to pay down debt. They're really focused on that more than paying out shareholders. But I'm just really excited about NAT still. It could go up dramatically. Now, again, just remember, this is a very small portion of my portfolio. This is not something that I'm putting all my money in. This is not something that I would feel comfortable investing even 10% of my portfolio in. But to be fair, I don't really have 10% in any one stock. I think I have 5% in Facebook and then everything else is split up even more. But I think that they're going to probably do well this next quarter. I think that they're going to do well in the following quarters because if we remember how the spot tanker rates usually go, they're usually lowest in the spring and the summer and then start ticking up in fall and winter. So I think we're going to continue to see that. So if we get through Q2 and we have good Q2 numbers, 
we're probably going to see a tick up in the spot tanker rates for Q3 and Q4, which will be interesting to see how that affects the, the share price. But let me know what you guys think of this below in the comment section. I'd be interested in hearing your point of view on this. Is the CEO just trying to bump up the price along with his son? Or do you think that this actually is going to be a good purchase for the CEO and do you think he really believes in the company still? If you guys want those free stocks from Webull, again, you just have to deposit $100 when you open up the account and then you get two free stocks, one worth up to $1,400. So really good value there. It takes maybe about five or 10 minutes to fill out. So I appreciate you guys doing that. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I do these weekly NAT videos maybe once or twice a week, really whenever there's news coming out because a large portion of my following are NAT fans and NAT investors. So I try to do my best to update them with everything that I hear and when I hear it. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for commenting and liking and subscribing and going to Weeble. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.